Goodbye, Jeep. Goodbye, camper. With last night's excitement, we decided to get up early this morning and take off. Thanks for liking and subscribing to Snow Dogs Vlogs. It's supposed to be like 93 up here today, so we thought the best thing to do was to go now, right? Go now. Apparently, I'm a little messed up. This gets shotgun. A good spot for you, babe. <laughs> Apparently Memphis thinks I'm leaving without her because she's sitting up front barking. Shelby, how did you get up front? We put the barrier there for a reason. We made it to the boat. We made it, what? We made it before the boat got here, so we're good. Any minute! I'm really zoomed in. <laughs> yeah, so the boat should be here any minute, so <laughs> we are ready to go. It's nice out. It sucks we have to leave, but it's gonna be like 93 degrees today, so. It's already hot. Yeah, it's nine o'clock and it's already hot, so we're going home. I'm getting back in my car with my dogs. Oh no, I'm not. I'm gonna shut the camper thing off. Drain in the fresh water out of the camper and make it lighter. I stop for two seconds and you guys switch who gets shotgun. How come you get shotgun now? She's like, because I'm awesome. And there's you, and there's Oakley going lay back down. You can see the big wet spot on the cover back there. I have a spot bot that I brought with us in the camper, and uh, so I spot botted it this morning to get all the puke cleaned up. So nobody has to lay in puke, it's just a little bit damp. Hey beautiful, you scared us last night. That was not fun. We'll get you home. Oh, everybody's starting their cars. The ferry is here. to the Mackinac Bridge and I just saw my favorite sign to see when we're getting ready to cross the bridge. High winds, reduce speed. Why is it every time we come back from Drummond Island and I'm the one pulling the camper and there's high winds on the bridge? And my choices are drive this Jeep with the camper attached to the back or drive Jamie's Jeep, which is like driving a little tin can. Not really, but that's how I feel when the wind's windy at the bridge. So we could do this, we could do this. <laughs> Made it to the bridge, a little bit of traffic. Oakley's back there, I don't know where the camera's pointing, but she just woke up from a nap, so. Now we get to slowly drive across this five mile long bridge doing 20 miles an hour. All right, so I might be pulling a trailer across this bridge, but uh, I would hate to be those people on a motorcycle. I think I'll stick with my truck and my trailer. It's windy, I've been watching their bikes getting blown around too. Crazy wind. We made it home safe and sound and it's 93 degrees, so we're gonna unload the camper and cool off. Okay, so we're getting ready to go home from camping and I got this box in the mail, I don't know, like a month ago, but we haven't been camping, so I've been saving it. Um, this, we don't get these monthly yet, I actually just bought the gift box because we wanted to see, check it out and see what it was, but we thought we would open it and uh, show you guys. This is a Karen box and it's a... Uh, basically a camping box camping crate <laughs> yeah it's like a, like the mitten crate like the other crate camping things box. only it's a camping box it says the outdoors isn't going to explore itself so we're gonna see what we got in the box see it says in the box in the box oh. and there's there's more than just edible stuff in there that's the cool thing about it. There's lots of different things oh, in here. Oh, okay. Yeah. It's more like a camping box. It's a camping box. Dragonfire Tinder Box. It's Dragonfire Tinder Box. This awesome little box is, don't open it, is packed full of nature's best firewood. You don't have to be a fire master to master this. Don't open open, it. open the box, set it in your prepared fire pit, light, and enjoy. When you open it up, it's a bunch of tinder. That's Cool. Isn't that neat? And you just open it like that and then you light the box on fire. There's even a little wick or whatever. Yep. 
Light, light the wick. And uh, that's funny. See, can you tip it up there so they can see kind of what's in it? Yeah, you can see that. We'll have to use it and light our fire. Isn't that neat? And you just start a hole. fire. Yep. You okay. know, sometimes when you have wet wood, it's it's nice to have just a little bit of something dry. That's so. not a paper towel because they don't light any. Right? It's a camping hack. Camping hack. Camping hack. All right, what's next? Uh, light my fire titanium spork. I found it. Most hikers and backpackers love titanium because it's so lightweight. We love it because it's one of the toughest alloys on the planet, handling whatever ruggedness you throw at it. So like if you were backpacking and you needed a spoon, spoon and a fork. Or a fork. You just oh, throw yeah. that right in your backpack so you can eat your soup that you're cooking on your fire that you lit with your tinderbox. Yeah. <laughs> All right. These are cool. <laughs> What's that? Uh, those are a Light My Fire Grandpa's Fire Fork. Inspired by Grandpa's ingenious design and, des and destined to become a modern classic. Attaches firmly to any stick. Use it to grill marshmallows and hot dogs or just about anything you want. There should be two in there, right? So you, you take that off. Yep. Yeah, you want to show them? We don't have a stick on there us. There is two of them. You take that off and see how the top of that looks like a marshmallow stick? You put your stick through You're gonna here. You're going to hurt your finger. Why? Oh yeah, look. I see my finger won't fit. Mine does. You put your stick through here, and then you've got a marshmallow. Don't use your finger, though, for real. Right. I'm just demonstrating. It does. But it then turns it turns it into a... Any stick. Get in, looks like you can find a pretty hardy sized stick, so yeah. you don't have to get one of them sticks that just kind of falls over. And then you're not worried about trying to like whittle a pointy stick, and then you're burning yeah. it, and then you got a sticky stick. You just yeah. use that. That's pretty cool. I thought that was so cool when I saw that. I'm like, well, that's ingenious. And then it comes with this little thing so that you can you stick it back in your backpack and you're not stabbing things. And if they get really nasty with marshmallows, it's all up in there. Yep. Mm -hmm. Light my that's fire. Cool. That's a really good idea. Come on, baby, light my fire. <laughs> There's tinder in the bottom of the box. <laughs> light the box on fire. What else we got? I got a sticker. Woohoo! Okay, um, bricks. The one that says bricks. Bricks. Bricks grass-fed beef and bacon bar. This incredible bar gets its flavor from tender beef, chunks of bacon, chopped cranberries, raw sunflower seeds, and black pepper. Fuel for your adventure. This is one of those things like when we're out jeeping for really long periods of time or out hiking for really long periods of time. It's nice to have stuff like that, you know, Ooh, you smell that? in your backpack Ooh, and things yeah. like that so that uh, you can refuel wow. the energy. Whoa. Memphis is like, you could probably have a bite of this. Hmm, I don't know about that. That's interesting. It's got sunflower seeds and everything in it. Wow. It tastes like meat. Meat? Like meat pie? I see cranberry right there. I expected it to be like... jerky? But it's more like not jerky. I think after you said meat, I expected jerky. Right. Now it's different. It's 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 like jerky, yeah. It is, but it's not like mm, super lot. chewy. Hmm. Like jerky. Alright, where's my oakster? Oakley. She's hiding. Oakley. Liz like, whoa, wait, what? For real? Me? Yeah, I'll eat all that. Spoil my dinner. Yeah. It's pretty good. Mm-hmm. Get case of those. It's really good. Mm-hmm. Alright. One more thing in box. As I'm still chewing. Mm-hmm. Simple Squares Cine Clove. I have a feeling it's Ooh. gonna be cinnamon and clove. Too. With just five ingredients, Simple Squares offers clean energy that is paleo, organic, non-GMO, and gluten-free. Perfect for wherever nature takes you. Ingredients, organic cashews, organic almonds, the dogs cannot have a bite of this, mm -hmm. organic honey, organic unsweetened coconut, organic vanilla, sea salt, organic cinnamon, and organic cloves. So it's all organic except for the sea salt. Oh yeah. This... <laughs> yeah. Right? Oh, it smells really, really, really. The sea is inorganic. 
Mm. Uh, wow. Mm-hmm. I fly took a big bite. Mm. I can smell it. Mm. It's like a soft granola bar with flavors. Granola y goodness. Mm. But not granola. You can taste the clove. Mm -hmm. Like the remember the beamins. The beamins bubble gum. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Mom, you ain't gonna have this. That's the rest of yours. Mm -hmm. hmm. That's really good. Here's a reward for digging a little deeper. Where did you find this? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Whoa! Coupons. Mm -hmm. Twenty percent off at mm -hmm. Bricks Bars. We got a card from from Light My Fire. Oh! Oh yeah, cool. There's a picture. Can you see it? You got it. There you go. Picture of how to use the spork thing. Or the spork thing. The fire <laughs> fork. That's pretty cool. Grandpa's fire fork. 30% off at this website. Mirrorway.com. Yeah. Dragon fire. Oh, look at all the different simple oh. squares. Coconut, sage, ginger, hmm. cocoa, cocoa, chili pepper. Rosemary, coffee. Rosemary and coffee. <laughs> No way. Might have to order some of those. Mm hmm. Mm. I just want to get another box just to try another flavor. Right? Well, they send different stuff each month, kind of oh, like. Yeah, so it might not even be a different flavor. Yeah, they send like different things each month, just like Mitten Crate. And mm. like I said, I thought it would be really neat to try it because, you know, we've had fun doing the other unboxing videos. And mm -hmm. I just thought it was neat since we went camping. Since, you know, since we go camping all the time. That so that's what you get in the box. Do a camping box. So there you go. So I'll put some links down in the video description you to that. where you can get a Karen box if you want to get one. There's and no let us know if you guys think we should make this a monthly thing. Because like I said, mm. as of right now, we it's not. We can do it monthly. <laughs> weekly? Can weekly? Do it weekly? Oh. Spork's fallen. So might have to do that. No. <laughs> I think I've eaten enough food for right now. I'm going to drink some more of this ginger beer from the mitten crate. We totally didn't film just before this. Mm -hmm. That's why we have the same clothes on and we're in the same position. <laughs> <laughs> we should have switched sides. Oh. I shut the window. That would have been hilarious. Right. <laughs> right. We should have made be, the dog switch sides. Right. It would be weird if you were on the other side. I don't know. I don't belong over there. No. This is how this works. Is it? Yeah. I don't know. We, if we were... These two are on the wrong side, though. Yeah, but right. Greg's not here, so Shelby's <laughs> like... Why are you on my side? Daddy feeds you more than I do. Right. We have the wrong dogs. I think it's I think it's getting hot. It's getting hot in here. It is. Alright you guys, thanks Go for on. watching, thanks for subscribing, stay positive, dream big! Let us know if you want us to do more Karen boxes. I have to remember to look at the lens and not the thing on top. Bye! Yeah, the audience is right there. Hi audience. Hi. <gasps> Bye. Mm. <laughs> oh, please like more? I can do these, baby. Thanks for liking and subscribing to Snow Dogs Vlog.